In the last video, we learned about how to use isopalm and by using isopalm, how to break an object into two objects. So let's create a sphere again. Now right click and choose isopalm and create an isopalm. Now go to surface and apply this isopalm. Select this isopalm again and go to surface and detach. I delete this top part then change shading. So it's a half a sphere. Now I want to make a border around the edge. So first I create a duplicate curve. So I choose isopalm and I want to create a border at this position. Then go to curve and choose duplicate surface curve. So this surface curve create here like this. Now I create a circle switch to front view board and create a circle here. Little bit oval and scale down and place here. Now switch to top view board and change direction. I think no need to change direction. Okay, now open outline. So it's a duplicate curve and it's a circle. First select circle, then select duplicate curve. So these are two objects. First is circle and second is duplicate curve that we create by using isoform. So now I want to convert this duplicate curve as a boundary by using extrude tool and the shape and the shape that apply is circle shape okay so first select this circle and then select duplicate surface curve then go to surface extrude tool so first reset these settings and result position it should be at path and the pivot it should be on component so these changes so make these changes and then hit on apply button and close so that circle shape will apply on the path and it's create a boundary around the object second we create a handle so i go to create menu and choose create tool three point curvature arch so i click first point then second point and then third point okay now i select this circle shape Okay, first we have to delete history. Rotate and rotate around X axis. Okay, so shape is done now. Now select this circle and then select this arch. So by pressing Control key and then go to surface X2 setting button. So these settings we changed in last time they are also available here. Then press apply button and close. So that shape will apply on the arch now you can move a little bit down like this if you want to provide some thickness around the edge so you can do this 
by using loft tool. If you want to give some thickness on the edge, so we can do this. First, select isopalm. and snap on the top then go to cut duplicate surface curve and make a duplicate copy once again control t scale down like this okay. select both shape by pressing control key and then go to surface and choose lock so it's provide some thickness around the object or uh, like this so it's a basic example of using extrude tool you can create any type of shape using a profile shape and a path shape